a habitat is a natural environment that provides plants or animals the food, water, and shelter that they need to live. Our planet has a wide variety of habitats that support many different forms of life. What is a woodland habitat, and how is it a good habitat for wildlife? A woodland habitat is a forested area with trees. Many woodlands have a mix of different types of trees. Woodlands may have deciduous trees like maples that lose their leaves in the fall, but grow new ones in the spring. Non-deciduous or evergreen trees like coast live oaks and redwoods keep their leaves or needles all year long. Animals might travel from one kind of woodland to another to get water or find food. Woodlands usually have small clearings called meadows with grasses, herbs, shrubs, and wildflowers that also provide food and shelter for a diversity of so many different kinds of animals. Branches and leaves of tall, mature trees create a canopy. Under the canopy is a habitat we call the woodland understory. Birds, insects, and mammals live or travel to the woodland understory in search of food, water, and shelter. Why are woodlands important? Woodlands are a great place for animals that like to eat leaves, nuts, or fruits and for larger critters that hunt the animals that eat those things. For example, squirrels living in the oak woodlands eat acorns, and owls that live in the oak trees might eat the squirrels. Think about other animals that eat acorns and what animals might hunt for them. Trees provide places to store food. This acorn woodpecker has drilled holes into a branch to store its cache of acorns for the winter. Trees also provide animals with shelter from the weather and protection from other wildlife that may be hunting for them. Wood rats use the sticks they find in the woodlands to build their own shelter. Sometimes their nests are so big that they're like little apartment buildings and they share them with other animals like snakes and mice. Some animals are nocturnal, which means they are active at night. If you go to a woodland habitat during the day, and if you're a good detective, you may notice that animals were there before you arrived. What would the signs be? You may find feathers, footprints, or tufts of fur on the ground. You might even smell a skunk. Now let's talk more about what animals who live in meadows and the woodland understory eat. Animals that live there may be herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. Herbivores like deer and rabbits eat plants. Carnivores like bobcats, coyotes, and owls eat other animals. Omnivores, like raccoons and opossums, eat both. What category or group are you in? Predators hunt for other animals. They are generally meat eaters, called carnivores, and they're usually the larger animals in the woodland understory. Examples of predators are bobcats, mountain lions, coyotes, hawks, and owls. Prey are the animals hunted and eaten by the predators. They are most often herbivores and tend to be smaller. Examples of prey are mice, rats, rabbits, deer, and birds. Some animals are both predators and prey. Can you tell predators and prey apart by the way they look? you'll see that they have different types of teeth and their eyes are located in different parts of their head. Predators generally have sharp teeth or beaks for biting other animals and tearing flesh. Their eyes are located in the front of their heads where they can see ahead as they hunt. Prey have flat teeth for chewing plants. 
Their eyes are usually on the sides of their heads so that they can see predators coming from the side or even behind them. A rhyme that might help you remember the differences goes like this. Eyes in the front help animals to hunt. Eyes on the side help animals to hide. Let's take a moment to think about our own teeth. Like most omnivores, humans have both sharp teeth and flat teeth. Our eyes are at the front of our heads and we have peripheral vision, which means we can see things on the sides of our heads as well. Prey can hide from predators using camouflage, which is when an animal's natural appearance helps it blend into its surroundings. Young deer or fawns have white spots to help them hide in the forest where the sunlight is filtered through the trees. Woodlands are so important because they support a wide variety of plants and animals. They also provide people with food and materials for things we use every day. Woodland trees also help clean the air by breathing in carbon dioxide and breathing out oxygen. When we visit them, they give us shade to cool us off on hot days. We all can do our part to preserve woodlands. For example, if we use paper wisely, fewer trees would be cut down to make the paper. One way not to waste paper is to pack our lunches in reusable containers rather than paper bags. Another way is to remember to recycle your paper products rather than throwing them away. Can you think of other ways to save paper? Visiting a woodland is a great way to observe and enjoy the beauty of nature. Just remember that it's important to stay on the trail and not disturb the animals you see there. Next time you're in a wooded area, breathe in the oxygen. Feel the soil and leaves beneath your feet. Feel the breeze, smell the plants, enjoy the shade. Think about and appreciate the many plants and animals living all around us.